Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to take off a bottom case of a MacBook Air. And this would be for any MacBook Air, whether you have a 2008, 2011, 2015. Um, they use special screws, they're called a pentalobe screws. Um, that MacBook use, basically they make it to where just not anyone can go in there and unscrew it. Um, but it's very cheap to do. So we'll go ahead and look at the bottom case. And you may, for whatever reason, you may want to um, take the bottom case out, you know, to, just to examine it, to examine the serial code, to make sure the, the serial code on the processor matches up with the serial code on the actual case. Um, or you might need to put in a, on a new case, you know, if your old case has wear on it. Um, you might want to change, you know, you might want to clean the fan out with uh, an aerosol air or change out the battery or you may want to um, change out the hard drive for whatever reason. So most MacBook Air Airs have 10 screws as you can see here four on the top, four on the bottom and two on the side. Now you might be tempted to go ahead and try to use like a little small Phillips or a little small flathead to unscrew it. Um, I wouldn't recommend you doing that. I mean, number one, you will probably damage the screw itself. Um, you might accidentally scratch the surface. Um, and if you pay pay all this money for a MacBook Air, go ahead and do it right. And like I said, it'll cost you under five bucks to do it. What you're going to need is a it's called a, a pentalobe pentalobe screwdriver. And you can get it on eBay or Amazon for less than five bucks. Um, and I'll show you in a second where to look. So let's go ahead and unscrew the pentalobe screws. There's one, two. Probably want to put them in order here. They are different sizes, just like the MacBook Pros. Four. So if you notice, if you notice the um, the top two uh, top two center, the screws are a little bit longer. All right, let's get the sides. Okay, so you should be able to get it from the very top here, and you shouldn't have any resistance. Just a very tad here. So as you can see that, um, very easy to do, and of course that's where the, um, the SSD hard drive goes. All right, so let's go ahead and look on eBay and buy a. Um, and by the way, you can also buy the screws if you're missing any screws for whatever reason. But I'm assuming you haven't missed any screws if you haven't messed with it as of yet. Alrighty, just my camera here, and there we go. You can see there. I was looking on Wikipedia. It's called pentalobe screws. And uh, that's what it looks like. It's like a pentagon, five, five little um, grooves there. All right, so let's go ahead and go on eBay. Let's type in MacBook Air screwdriver, and you can see I've already done that. 
even all right there we go so what you want to do is you want to click buy it now because you don't want to get it on auction you'll just be wasting your time so you can see some already pop up then you want to go lowest first okay so we see some here this will literally cost you a dollar and fourteen cents that's it and it's coming out of China okay do you want to wait two weeks four weeks for a screwdriver um, I don't so what you do if you go on the left column here you can go to um, US only that's of course if we're if you're in the US I apologize if you're in Europe or Australia or Asia or wherever feel free to order from China but in the United States you know we get a little bit of antsy over here so so as you can see here there's one there's they've sold 474 and it's three bucks buy it now with four, 40 cents shipping so that's the one I would go ahead and get if you're in the US alright and it should you should get it that one's coming from California you should get it within a couple of days well five days alright thank you for watching if you have any questions put it in the uh, comment section